Abby, what are some of the highlights in this next stage of reopening? Yeah, well, phase three in Indiana means that gyms, pools, and campgrounds can reopen today just in time for Memorial Day weekend. But as you can see here in Clarksville at the Aquatic Center, that is not the case. This pool won't open at all in 2020, and other businesses are holding off on reopening as well. We're just kind of taking it day by day and and seeing how things evolve. Though fitness centers like Inner Spring Yoga are allowed to reopen in Indiana Friday, not all of them are. The governor's recommendations haven't really played into my decision making. For me, decision making was um, thinking about our customers, our students, um, as well as our teachers. Mental health, physical health, and wellness is at the heart of what we do, um, and I, I, I'm not sure that it's physically healthy for everyone to go back. Owner Carrie Klaus says she's keeping safety top of mind and so far still has no hard opening date. Every day, um, everything changes. Still, for fitness centers that do open as Indiana enters phase three, the Floyd County Health Department has launched a mask program. It lets owners like Klaus get free masks to keep staff and customers safe. Indiana's phase three also allows the opening of pools and outdoor recreational sports. And although multiple Southern Indiana pools won't open at all this year. With the guidelines that they're putting in place, we'd have to operate with minimal capacity and risk staff and the cost is just, it's not possible. Ken Conklin with Clarksville Parks and Recreation says their splash pad will open later this year and other outdoor activities are already opening. We're uh, actually in the process of reinstalling our basketball hoops. Tennis boards are back open today, um, so we're just hoping people will be able to get out and enjoy some more activities. Now, as of today here in Indiana, the number of people who can gather for social gatherings goes from 25 to 100. Also in Indiana's phase three, stores can reopen to 75% capacity. Restaurants, though, will have to stay at 50% capacity. Now, across the river, restaurants in Kentucky can open today at 33% capacity, and Dennis Ting picks up our team coverage there.